This video is about learning task-oriented grasping for tool manipulation from simulated self-supervision. Tool manipulation is a vital skill for achieving generalizable robot autonomy. In this work, we aim to control a seven of robot arm to grasp unseen objects as tools and complete the desired tasks. There are many recent works on learning to grasp unseen objects. The main challenge here is to formulate grasping as a learning problem and to collect large-scale labeled data to train the model. Some of these works ask human to annotate the ground truth grasp positions. Some others automatically generate robot trials in a self-supervised manner. Most previous learning-based grasping models do not consider the task constraints. For example, a grasp close to the center of mass can robustly lift up the object, but consider hammering a peg into the slot. This task agnostic grasp might not be suitable for achieving the goal. For the hammering task, the robot is actually supposed to grasp the handle of the hammer, thus to generate a large enough momentum when hitting the peg. For sweeping the clutter of the table, however, it is better to grasp the head of the hammer and sweep with a long handle. Most previous task-oriented grasping models learn from either a handcrafted quality metric or affordance labels annotated by human. These approaches rely on human expertise of the task constraints, and they do not entail the success of the downstream manipulation tasks. In our work, we aim to directly optimize for the task success by jointly choosing a task-oriented grasp and its subsequent manipulation actions. Each task can be considered as a two-stage process. In the first stage, the robot grasps an object as a tool. In the second stage, the robot uses the tool to complete the goal of the task. Based on previous works, including GQCN, we propose task-oriented grasping network. It is composed of a task-oriented grasping model and the manipulation policy. Given the visual inputs of the object, we sample multiple candidate grasps. Depending on the task ID, the task-oriented grasping model predicts task success probability for each candidate and chooses the grasp which corresponds to the highest predicted value. Then, the manipulation policy outputs actions for the selected grasp. We use convolutional neural networks for both modules. The network takes the crop of the depth images of each grasp candidate as inputs. We develop a simulated self-supervised learning framework for training the two modules jointly. Though our model is general to a diverse set of tasks, we choose two common but challenging tasks, hammering and sweeping, to run our experiments. We roll out simulated robot trials to collect a large-scale training dataset. To generalize to unseen objects, we procedurally generate diverse 3D objects. We run our model in simulation and evaluate the task success rates. After being trained with 1.5 million robot trials with procedural objects, our model is able to learn to use unseen realistic shapes as tools to complete the tasks. We compare our model with multiple baselines using random antipodal grasps, task agnostic grasps, as well as baselines using a random manipulation policy. We found jointly learning the grasping model and the manipulation policy leads to the best performance. We also perform real-world robot experiments using the model trained from simulation. No explicit sim to real domain adaptation was used here. We show our model is capable of using nine unseen real-world objects as tools for the same tasks. Our model achieves 80% and 71% task success rates for hammering and sweeping respectively which outperform baselines which use random antipodal grasps and the task agnostic grasps. In conclusion, we propose a learning-based model for jointly optimizing task-oriented grasping and the tool manipulation, and we develop a mechanism for generating large-scale simulated self-supervision with procedural objects. For further details, welcome to our website.